Howdy folks, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are in Create a Sim to bring Stacy's parents to the series and to the channel. You guys probably saw a bit of a sneak peek of them in last week's video, which was a speed build of the family home. And if you haven't already checked that video out, be sure to give it a watch. It was my first ever speed build and I'm super proud of it. Anyways, like I said before, we are here to really bring Stacy's parents to life in the series. Here we have Stacy's mother, Miss Angela Sosa. Angela is a very hardworking, proper woman who has a passion for education and absolutely adores her family. She has always been a family-oriented person, but especially since moving to Brychester on her own. Angela came to Brychester for school from the Philippines where she attended Brychester University on a full-ride scholarship for early childhood education. Now the scholarship she had only covered her tuition, so she definitely had to work her butt off to pay for housing. She worked some odd jobs here and there, as well as a couple of on-campus jobs at food stalls and in the Brychester City Library. She was able to rent a small room in a house not too far from campus with like five other roommates. Working in the library was her favorite job though. It was a home away from home for her. She could really focus and escape into the books and find comfort in them. She also remembers her job at the library so fondly because this is where she met the love of her life, Lorenzo Sosa. Now Lorenzo was definitely a polar opposite of Angela. While Angela was very quiet and reserved and proper, Lorenzo was loud, a goofball, and always the life of the party. And all around just that guy that, you know, everybody liked and could get along with and you know, he was kind of like everybody's friend. It also couldn't be ignored that he went to the rival school, Foxbury Institute, where he was majoring in computer science. He is also very close to his family and is a very family-oriented person. Lorenzo is from San Myshuno, actually, and his family is from PR. Puerto Rico! He grew up specifically in the Spice District, which I think honestly had an impact on his personality because it's such a colorful and vibrant place and he definitely has a colorful and vibrant personality. Now when they met, Lorenzo will always say that it was love at first sight, but Angela will always tell you that she was not even thinking about that boy. She was not stunning him whatsoever. She had a one track mind focused on school. <laughs> but. But after a lot of nights in the library, buying tons of food and drinks at the stall she was working at, now keep in mind, he had to go to the other school's campus across town to do this, and also plenty of failed attempts at trying to be smooth, he finally convinced her to go on a date with him, and from then on, it was just history. They fell in love. After graduation, they stayed in a few apartments and Lorenzo went on to get a job at Landgrab Tech Industries, working his way up to project manager, which is his current position. And Angela got a job at Magnolia Elementary as a first grade teacher, where she is still there as a first grade teacher. She went back to get her master's degree, but she just loves working with the kids. So eventually Lorenzo did propose to Angela on the sandy beaches of Artosa. They had a beautiful wedding at the Von Hunt estate and a couple of years later they bought a humble home in Willow Creek that they continued to build into what it is today which is what you guys saw in the speed build. And then a few years after that they went on to have Stacy. Stacy is their only child. Um, they definitely wanted to have a bigger family but unfortunately it didn't seem like they could have a lot of children because they already it was already a lot of infertility struggles just to have Stacy. So they, when they finally had Stacy, they were happy and were just happy to have even just that little family together. Growing up, Stacy was definitely a daddy's girl, but she had a good relationship with both of her parents. Now their relationship is definitely a little strained after they found out Stacy was lying to them. It truly broke their hearts because they only ever wanted the best for Stacy, and they began to wonder if pushing her to become a nurse or find that more stable career kind of pressured her into lying to them and they wonder if they didn't put enough into encouraging her and supporting her and following her dreams professionally. They have a little bit of regrets and 
feel bad about that to an extent because of course they were only trying to get her to do what they felt was best but i guess they realized that what's best for her isn't always what they think is best you have to let your child find their own path and they're wondering if doing all that and pressuring her led her to lie to them about her time while she was at Brightchester so that she could prove that there was success and stability in it and now they just worry so much about Stacy because they haven't heard from her in about a month and all they know is she's somewhere in Delso Valley they worry that they may have been too harsh or mean to Stacy that night and pushed her away further and just made her feel like they wanted nothing to do with her when that's the farthest from the truth of course they were hurt but stacy is their heart and soul and they worry every day about her and want nothing more than to rebuild and just talk to their daughter again they try to send her text messages and stuff but she's not really responding right now so they're wondering is she okay or is she just wanting space from us i mean every day they're just thinking about stacy so now they're kind of just hoping that she comes to them because they don't want to continue to push her away by being overbearing or anything but again you know they're worried they're worried parents but we will just have to continue to play out the story and see where it goes i think they'll definitely rebuild their relationship eventually i think it just is going to take some time and also some maturity on stacy's end as well and i say a little bit more maturity on stacy's end because she ran away out of to an extent shame but also because she wants to prove her parents wrong right now i feel like her desire to prove her parents wrong is not out of i want to show them that i can be successful in what i do because it's my passion but also but it's a little bit there's like a little bit of spite in there like a little bit of yeah i'm gonna prove you guys wrong you know what i mean and she's she's gotta get over that it's a little bit of a petty situation just just on her end a little bit but i think she's starting to get humbled a little more in what's going on with her and eventually you know things are gonna work back out but like i said we will just have to continue to play and see and of course you know i love developing the story but i also love your comments and what you guys think of the story because i think it's also important to have y'all's feedback in it and just have all have the story be shaped how you guys see it as well well that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you didn't i'm sorry i cannot give you your time back um, be sure to subscribe if you're not already and also leave a comment down below on what you guys think of Stacy's story so far and her parents' story and just where you guys see the whole Rax to Riches going. Also be sure to follow me at my other links down below. I'm live on Twitch every Saturday and I also have other social media accounts you can follow and also be sure to check out my editor down below. She is super great. I have all of her stuff linked down below. She makes some really awesome sims and does some really great builds and screenshots on Twitter so you should definitely check her out too. And with all of that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!